come to the question of people's assemblies. Similarly, the so-called people's assemblies are institutions totally unknown to the Constitution of Kenya and totally unknown to the County Governments Act. They have purportedly been established in violation of the Constitution and the law. Parliament has not delegated any power of that nature. The county governments have no power to create institutions of that nature. What is the consequence, therefore? The consequence is that these institutions are unconstitutional, they are illegal, they are null and void. The persons involved in their creation are involved in extra-constitutional activity and may be visited by the full force of the law. The purpose of devolution was to shift power nearer to the people. The government of Kenya continues to be committed to that process. Pending before parliament is a bill to further devolve power to, uh, to townships, to create mayors and their deputies and other levels of managing government closer to the people. The so-called county assemblies do not feature in that legitimate scheme. Indeed, the High Court of Kenya at Kitui has already pronounced itself on this question in petition number seven of 2017. Those who continue to purport to create these institutions are doing so contrary to the express provisions of a court order. And again, I would say they are undermining the rule of law and acting in contempt of court. Further, and finally, the creation of these illegal institutions by the use of funds that have been sent to the counties to run county operations is a violation of the Public Finance Management Act. And any person involved in the use of money legitimately voted by the National Assembly to do legitimate work in the counties and is now being used for this illegitimate purpose means that this money can be surcharged to those persons who have been involved in that process. <laughs>